Test on exponents and logarithms, question 13. Solve the equation 9 log of 5x equals to 25 log x of 5. Well, we see that we don't have same base. That is important to note. Now, let's read the question again. Question 13. Log, solve the equation 9 log 5 of x equals to 25 log x of 5, expressing your answer in the form of 5 to the power of p over q, where p q belongs to integers. That's the question. So let's try to solve this, right? So the first step which I'm going to do is write this as base 5, right? So that is the first step I'm going to do. Let me write this as it is. First, this is equals to 25 log x of 5, correct? And here we are going to use change of base. Now, change of base is like this. We've got 9 log 5 of x equals to 25, and this could be written as 1 over log 5 of x. That is kind of a very critical step here, right? We do have a question which is in which I've derived this formula for you, right? So you can go through that. I think it's question number 9. So you go through that and then understand how log x of 5 can be written as reciprocal 1 over log 5 of x. That's kind of crucial, right? Now from here, we'll cross multiply, right? We'll multiply both sides by log 5 of x and divide by 9. So when we multiply, we get here log 5 of x whole squared. Do you see that? So I'm putting square here to make things very simple. So let me write first like this itself and then I'll divide by 9. So, so I just multiplied by log 5 of x on both the sides. So I got log 5 of x whole square and on right side I'm left with 25. So now I can write log 5 of x whole square is equals to 25 over 9. Do you see that? So I divide by 9 this time. So, so that is how we're trying to solve our equation. And now let's try to get answer. So to get the answer, we need to square root it. And since we know that log should be positive side, right? So they'll, they'll take only positive values, correct? Okay, so what we get here is log 5 of x equals to square root of 25 over 9, right? Well, 25 over 9 is what we get. So x values, we are looking for x values. but So we will, which is equal to, let me write this as 5 over 3, correct? So that is what we have taken, right? Now, log 5 of x equals to 5 over 3. So we can write x is equals to 5 to the power of, 5 over 3. Do you see that? 5 to the power of 5 over 3, right? So that is our answer. 5 to the power of 5 over 3. Thing here to discuss is, will minus 5, 5 to the power of minus 5 over 3 be our answer or not? So let's discuss that part also. So that is about domain, right? Let's discuss that. So when we have the question, 9 log 5x, it means that x has to be positive, right? x has to be greater than 0, correct? That is what it is. And as you know, if you have any exponent 5 to the power of anything, right, it will always be positive. Exponential functions are positive. And therefore, in such cases, we should have plus and minus here. So that gives us two values which is plus and minus 5 over 3. And therefore, we have two answers here, and that is x is equal to 5 to the power of even plus over 3 or minus 5 over 3. Right? Both will give us the correct answers. Correct? What you can do is, you can plug these values separately and check your answer. Right? So that is the next part you should do. Check. 5 to the power of 5 over 3 is positive and 5 to the power of minus 5 over 3 is also positive. Therefore, in both cases, x is greater than 0, so they are valid answers, correct? 